This is an introduction video on Moodle for new Wangush University students. To get started using the Wangush University e-learning platform, visit our website at www.mu.ac.zm. Click on the Students menu. You will see various items such as our e-learning portal, student information system, and many other helpful platforms to help you in your studies. Click on e-learning portal. To log into the e-learning portal, enter your username, which is your student number, and your password. If you don't know your password, visit the student information system and click on forgot password. You can then reset it from there. Once you have logged into Moodle, you will be presented with a list of your courses under Course Overview. You can see your most recently accessed courses under Recently Accessed Courses. Please note that not all your courses will appear here. Only under Course Overview, you will see all your courses. You're able to download modules from the links on top of the page. But for now, let's click on the course that you want to open. We can see that this course has an announcement section, a live chat where you can interact with your classmates, a video lecture, an assignment, a PDF document, a Word document, and a quiz. Let's get started by opening a PDF document. A PDF document can contain anything like text, pictures, a book from your lecture. You can open it by clicking on it. If you want to download a file, click the download button or right click on the file on Moodle and click save link as. You can do the same with Word documents. Click on the file and it will automatically download through your web browser. To open a video class, click on the icon for the big blue button, class. You can click on join session if the class is scheduled to take place at the moment you are joining. If you happen to have missed the class, you can also play back the presentation that has taken place earlier. You can check the date and time it took place. You also have a preview of the slides or the materials that the lecturer was showing. To join the session, click Join Session. You will then be asked to enable Adobe Flash Player. Click on it and make sure you allow Adobe Flash Player in your web browser. You will then connect to the classroom and you can start attending your live lecture. You can either join by microphone or you can click listen only. You are currently the only person in this conference. As you can see, currently we are the only person and no slides have been uploaded. Your lecturer will add slides and be able to interact with you through the virtual classroom. Once you're done with your class, you can click log out from here to interact with your classmates. You can use the chat.
and you will be able to see PowerPoint presentations here. Recorded sessions, like I said, are available by clicking on Presentation. It will then continue to play back the recording from the class. Once we are done, you can either click on the course name or on one of the sections to return to the main page of the course. Let's check out our assignment. We can identify an assignment through the icon or through the description. Once you click on an assignment, you will see a description of the assignment with a file with further information about the assignment and how to write it. You can also see your submission status, your grading status, the due date for your assignment, and the time remaining before the submission deadline. You can write an assignment using Microsoft Word or any other text editor that you prefer. Let's go ahead and open Word and type my assignment. Once you are done writing your assignment, make sure you save the document as a PDF file. Go to Save As and select PDF. We can go ahead and save the file. Once we have written our assignment, we can proceed back to the assignment page and click on the button Add Submission. you will be presented with a file upload dialog. You can click the Add button, or you can directly drag your file here. Let's go ahead and use the Add button. Click on Upload a file. Click on Choose File. We saved our file in Documents. We can give a name to our assignment. And click Upload this file. You will see that the file has now been uploaded. Make sure you click on Save Changes to submit your assignment. It might take a couple of minutes to upload your file depending on your connection speed. As you can see, my assignment was submitted for grading. I can verify this by checking the section for file submissions and making sure that the file is indeed attached. If for any reason I want to make changes, I can do so before the deadline of the assignment. I can do this by clicking Edit Submission and uploading a new file, or by removing my current submission and then uploading a fresh one. Let's proceed back to our course. You can do this by clicking on the course name on top, or by clicking on the course name in the menu. We are now back on the home page of the course. This was part one of a video series on how to use Moodle for new students. If you have any questions you would like us to answer in the next video, please leave your comments and we will get back to you as soon as possible.